Welcome back to my channel or welcome to new members of my community. My name is Yasa, I'm a violinist and I moved from St. Petersburg, Russia to United States all by myself almost 10 years ago. I started a new channel, new playlist called uh, Musician's Life. And here I talk to you about my journey as a musician and sharing with you my thoughts, ideas and tips and tricks in the art of being a musician. Today, let's discuss a topic of does musicians need to read? Is it an intellectual profession to be a musician? Do we need an imagination to create music? Do we need knowledge to create music? Or is it all comes from our natural abilities to feel and from our natural talent that just something that we grew up with do we need to work on our intellect being a musician well the answer to all these questions is absolutely yes <laughs> absolutely yes we have to we have to read being musicians Musician is a um, very broad profession, especially a classical musician. We encounter a world that we never dealt with. Composers who lived hundreds and hundreds of years prior, in the past. How do we know how their world looked like? How do we know what were their everyday activities? What were they thinking about at that time? Who was their president at that time? Was there a president at that time? Or was there a, que a king or a queen? Um, what was the political situation? What was the geographical situation? Was it one country? Were, was it divided? Um, were there wars happening at that time? How did they live? What did they eat? What did they experience? Those are all essential questions if we want to um, truly understand the composers and truly impersonate the music that they left behind for us we need to know um you know the geographical situation the political situation we need to know where they um was there um what how did they survive was there sponsorship did was this concerto commissioned and why was it commissioned um why was this piece composed at the first place for example in the past to compose something you really need to have a commissioner to 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 make sure that you get paid for your work so that's how the works of art were created and we need to know that uh, to be able to understand better the music itself we need to uh, know what country composer belong to so we can imagine the pastures and the buildings around so we can think of them when we play that piece the imagination is such a big part of uh, our musical careers and, and um, our profession we a lot of the times we don't have a name for the piece we have just a name etude or nocturne or waltz or menuet, or a name of a dance, or um, just a concerto. Uh, how do you know what is that concerto about? So you have to have a really wide imagination. How do we develop it? Only by reading. Only by reading. But and of course, uh, enjoying the nature too, and uh, uh, enjoying the outdoors and contemplating, um, becoming more of a um, contemplating person who reminiscence on their own life, who can analyze their own life, who can come to conclusions, who can make deductions, who can, um, you know, search for clues in life and, and kind of connect the dots and, and make the, their own uh, assumptions based on something, based on knowledge, based on what they wrote and learned and experienced. But our experience, what I'm trying to say is our experience in life is not enough. We need to enrich it. And how do we do that? By tapping into wide resource of 
people who lived before us, typing in their life experience and their conclusions and their morals and, and ideas and beliefs. And usually those people stayed in history as great writers, as great composers, and as great inventors. And uh, how do we even know about them? Because they left a written word behind a music or a written word. So that's why I'm saying that musicians absolutely have to be wide and avid readers. And um, not just contemporary things that talking about everyday life, like uh, very popular in America, help uh, self-help books, right? How to be a millionaire, how to grow your garden, how to cook uh, uh, salmon in 10, thousand different ways those are great but this is our everyday experience that we already know and uh, that we already can relate to we need to tap into the past into generations and generations before us we need to read Dante, Tolstoy, Dostoevsky we need to uh, read Nietzsche we read to, because he was so connected to Wagner right to to the time of the past because it's all intertwined the composers the writers they experienced life together and their ideas are so intertwined music and, and writing it's uh, very very connected and um, the same ideas were in the air that's why you know two different inventors could invent the same uh, uh, product the same invention being in two different parts of the world and it did happen in the history just because the ideas were in the air it was uh, it was clear that that was about to happen, it was needed, and it did happen. Uh, that product was invented. Like, for example, electricity or radio. We have, we keep uh, arguing who was the first because they were invented in different parts of the world, uh, basically at the same time. So, uh, it's very crucial for a musician to become a uh, intellectual, deep, profound, important. In, 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 in the gra gratitude of what you're saying as a musician, it's crucial to be an avid reader. It's important to read. I hope I made my point. <laughs> um, please tap into this incredible world of uh, reading and um, classics. Go, go beyond the self-help books and um, contemporary read and uh, um, murder mysteries and um, even fantasy even though i love all those books that i mentioned all those genres tap into the history tap into the uh, classics tap into the um, fiction of the past and just immerse yourself into this world to to know how people lived before to see um, what ideas philosophy what ideas have been formed before um, what moral, what morals and, and whole universes were created before you, before you even were born. This is priceless. This is something that you can do for free, just spending a little bit more time to, to get the knowledge of, of an entire human life, of a profound human being who lived before you died and put it into writing. His entire life's work is at the tip of your hands and you just need to pick up that book and read it. All right, have a great day everyone. Go read <laughs> and enjoy your afternoon with a book and cup of coffee. Um, um, perhaps if it's raining and you um, curl under your blanket with a book. Um, I love those evenings. Have a great day everyone and uh, please like and subscribe. I'll see you soon again. Bye. <laughs>